Welcome back to my life as a maiden. Tropes tale? Tropes tale. A traps tale. <laughs> it's all the tales. Yeah, yeah. The all waifu begins, tale. All begins with a T. <laughs> no, well, waifu didn't. No, waifu didn't. Waifu. As we last left off, I think we have to go talk to Erica now. Yeah. That or that's we've got to do history. <laughs> Not history. I, I like history. Let's have a history. It is, it, it, history's easy because it's already happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it, maths and English, which is going to happen. <coughs> that is really loud. My last two classes. Engl I've read that. It won't take me long to read all these assignment papers. Pages! What? After school ended, I se separated from Audrey to find the back entrance of the school. I know I'm not supposed to meet Erica until much later, but I want to get used to the path I need to take. I think she said I need to go up and... Uh, left. Left. No! Left. Not right, you left. dumb... Left! Bitch! Left! Left, you asshole. You are is a tw you is a twat. That begins with a T. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> twat's tail. <laughs> oh, should be called a lost tail. Fucking lost so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, we're lost. Story, Maria. Story of his life. Uh, I, I, where are the benches? You went right, you dumb idiot. I've been walking around looking for them for 10 minutes. Because you went right instead of left. How could you get the two confused? One begins with an R, the other one begins with an L. <laughs> oh, I'm going to turn light. I'm going to turn light. Light. I'm going to turn light. Don't tell me I was supposed to go up to the left instead of the right. No shit. Sherlock. Now just retrace your steps and get to the point you need to. Don't oh no, 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 instead of retracing the steps, she's gonna go forward! We get lost now. It, he's gonna go forward! It's gonna go forward! Pronouns fucking suck! Stupid thump, stupid thump! Are you thumping your head off a tree? Yeah, stupid you're... thump, stupid! I'm oh, oh. Down. Something. Why was I cursed with such an awful sense of directions? Now I've gotten a head back to the school. Da, da, da. Oh, Richard, which is in what direction? What? You can't. You can't re retrace your. You turn 180 from where you was facing, right? <laughs> and you go back that way. Then you go forward, and then you take a left there to get back to where you were to go up to take a left. <sighs> Am I lost? What, what do I do? Are you gonna cry? Oh. Thank goodness I have a cell phone on me. <laughs> oh, the power of technology. If I can find my way back then, I'll get a call for help. Go. Wait, is this. <laughs> huh? Is, is someone there? Is this? I, you know, I ain't gonna bother trying making the snoring. Snooze. Snooze. Hello? I'm pretty sure I heard a voice. Is that a girl? It is. It is. And she is in her underwear. Why is she there? A girl in the middle of nowhere with her clothes off. Does she go to our school? Yes, she definitely does. She's sleeping on the Maiden Heart Academy's uniform. Excuse me, miss. Dot, dot, dot. Hello? Just catching some sea seas. Poke. <laughs> what are you poking with? Well, that's what was in my mind. Poke, poke, poke. poke. poke with a stick. Hello? <laughs> Bitch, wake up. She's still asleep after all that. How can anyone sleep through that? Come on, I have crest. Oh no. Uh, oh, uh, oh no! 
<laughs> oh no. What what are you doing? Sit sit sit. You still sleep? Asleep? Hey, let go! I can't move and your chest is pressing up against me. So uh, that explains why this there's a uh, awkward um picture in a in a saw page. Mmm, fluffy teddy bear. <laughs> Bitch, I am no teddy bear. Could be a teddy bear for her, though. She thinks I'm a teddy bear? I attempt to escape her grasps. Uh, girl, girl, off. She's so strong, even though she's a sleeping. She's sleeping. Her grip on me is so tight. I can break, I can't break free. Wake her up! <laughs> How the, f how do I keep getting myself in strange situations with a with the girls in the school? She's way too close to me. That's what you get going to I love hugs school. and wouldn't mind if she was awake, but she's not, and I'm not. To mention, she's nearly naked. Good Teddy. <laughs> she, she mentally deficient. If she was mentally deficient, she would have missed. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <coughs> She's rubbing my back. This is so weird, but it kind of feels good. So good. Mm. So good. Oh, she, she, he, he, he's moaning. Hey, you need to let go of me. You need to yawn. Let go. Oh no. Oh. Why am I getting? Oh, oh, she's using a Pokemon attack. Sleep attack. Sleep attack. Nah, yawn. Yawn. I didn't sleep too well, but I did get a good amount of sleep. Please let go. Ah, oh, oh. they ain't gonna look good if Erica sees. Damn, we just. Hmm. Who is this? She's she's warm and cuddly. Hmm? Hello? Hmm? What? What's your name? Huh? Are you awake? Are you finally awake? Yawn. Yes, I am. Do I know you? She barely... She's barely awake and clearly at risk of falling asleep again. Her eyes are drooping, though I can see them peeking at me. No, I am new student... Who transferred in my name I'm a new student who transferred in. My name is Maria Lockhart. Harley Craft. Nice to meet you. Could you let go? Let me go. Dot dot dot. But you're so warm, you're like a blanket. I tried to escape again, but she refuses to let me go. It looks like my only choice is to reason with her. What time is it? Time? Let's see. My phone says... Oh, oh it's six. Really two minutes past six. I'm late! I'm supposed to be be meeting with someone by the benches. Please let me go. She can wait a few more minutes. You're not letting me go? This! Oh, I'm being held hostage. Ah, oh, hell no! Five more minutes. No more minutes! Let me go! Erica is a biatch! <laughs> But my, I'm bad with directions. I will probably take me half an hour to find the benches. I know exactly where that is. If you let me cuddle with you for a bit longer, then I'll take you there. It's just a few minutes away. That's probably a better option than trying to find benches myself. Okay, five more minutes, but that's it. After that, you have to take me to where I need to go. Deal. Asleep again. Okay. Man, this boy is so lucky. Um, that's a way of putting it. Yeah, it is. We should do this again tomorrow. <laughs> but hold me hostage. You know what annoys me? You see these eyebrows, how they can peer through the hair? Yeah. 
Yeah, but it's in like anime as well. How eyebrows just go through the hairs. But anyway, enough of that. That's a different type of trope. <laughs> I, I don't even know you. Hmm, didn't I just tell you my name? I thought I did. Ah, it's got one eye open. She's half asleep. You did, but that doesn't mean we know each other. It doesn't? Question mark? I said hello, talked to you, and told you my name. What else is there to do? She said that so seriously. Harley doesn't seem like you're a very bright person. Or maybe she's terrible with socialising. Maybe she's like a dawn, but crazier. She's the yonderer. She's the yonderer. <laughs> we need to talk more than just a couple of minutes. I see. Then you'll be my blankie. A blankie. I um really need to get going. Oh, I said I'd show you the way. You sure it's Follow me. Way. Thank you. Showing us the way. God damn it, that meme needs to die. <laughs> there you are. I thought you were, weren't were going to show. I was tangled up in a strange situation. Quite literally. Tell me if you change your mind. You met Harley. By accident, I found her sleeping under a tree. She'd probably been there all day. That girl has a reputation around here. She's 19 and yet she's still in high school because of all the classes she failed. Wow. I would back much. <laughs> she's two years older than our character. Does she have trouble with schoolwork? She's no genius, but it isn't as if she's stupid. She could pass if she wanted to, but she doesn't have the motivation. So constantly skips classes and takes naps, and when she does go to class, half of the time she falls asleep there too. That's much sleep sounds really unhealthy. It is. You can die from too much sleep. How has she not been expelled? I thought Maidenheart Academy had a low tolerance when it came, comes to poor, poorly performing students. It does. Harley comes from a very rich family who donates hundreds of thousands to the academy each year. Headmistress Farrow does not want to lose that, so she makes an exception for Harley. That doesn't seem very fair. It's not. She knows this and does, does bother her. But that donation, no. Helps. Wank, wank. Helps us all out. Anyways, enough about Harley. I'd like to say something to you, Maria. Oh, the face has changed, please. Here it comes. She's going to tell me that she can't handle ro rooming with a boy. I'm... How many episodes? Six, seven, and three fucking episodes. Wow. Three episodes to say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Da, da, da. Huh? I really messed up yesterday. Accusing you of stealing my panties was a bad and bad enough. But then I also humiliated you by walking in on you in the sh bathroom. I swear that I did not do that on purpose. I wasn't aware that the lock was broken until this morning when I went to take a shower. If if it had been you who had walked in on me, I honestly probably wouldn't forgive you. I do my best to I do my best to get you expelled. It it makes it makes what I'm asking seem hypocritical, but I hope you can find it in you you to forgive me. I'm truly sorry and I try not to treat you any different from any, the other students anymore. She's apologizing? This is the last thing I would have expected. Maybe I should have ex maybe I should have accepted her 
offer to walk me to class after all this morning. Erica. Are you crying again? I don't want to make those... <sighs> what, what, what did I do? Nothing, I'm crying because I'm happy. I thought I'd spend my entire school life here with you hating me. I'm glad I was wrong. I do forgive you. Oh, sheesh. Uh, you had me worried. I thought you were still mad at me. I I'm not good at holding grudges. It might lose trust in someone who has hurt me repeatedly, but I can't stay angry at them. I thought you still disliked me this morning, so I was trying to give you space. Looking back on it, what I said must have sounded cold. I'm sorry about that. You don't need to apologize. I deserved it after all the things I said and did to you. <clears throat> You're really a nice person after all. Uh, and I, um, I guess I still think you're a princess. <laughs> such, <laughs> we're such a princess. Okay, so from the second. Uh, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Six episodes. She used that word again. This time she said I'm actually one instead of just looking like one. Ooh. I think my heart just skipped a beat. <laughs> <sighs> um. Thank you. You really like being called that, don't you? Bro, give the scuffle in the head. Oh, I nod my head in com <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> confirmation. I didn't think you'd say that again after what you told me at Miss Farrell's office. That a guy shouldn't be excited about being compared to a princess yeah ignore what I said you feel however you want to feel thank you Erica <laughs> hug oh whoa hey yay we're friends now friends I, I guess we are oh, that was easy yeah my first boyfriend girlfriend what you were meant to be saying? No. Male friend. M male friend. friend. Male, male friend. homie. Yeah, male friend. You know, fist bump. You know. High five. Uh, boyfriend? No, no, no. That's not what I meant. I, I meant friends who is a boy. <laughs> oh, that's what you mean. My heart is pounding. Would I say yes if she had actually wanted me to be her boyfriend? I'm not sure. Anyway, I I'm glad we could reconcile. I have to go to the library to work on my campaign for student council president. But I see you tonight if you're still up. Yeah, I mean, good luck. I'm adding words yes, to it. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, Erica. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Probably not, considering how much I stumped over the competition last year. I think you cheated. And... The year before, because I cheated as well. But better safe than sorry, so I'm going to cheat some more at it. Because a mother's president. I'm um, present? A <laughs> mama's principal? <laughs> she said that so smugly. Erica seems to have quite a big ego when it comes that, to things like this. I probably shouldn't have fed. I probably shouldn't have fed it, but she looks happy, so I suppose it's fine. After following Erica back to the school, I was actually able to make it back to the dorms on my own. Yay, we're learning. Woo! I'm not hopeless after all. No, you're hopeless. Oh, no. Hey, it's my cuddle buddy. Did you change your mind after all? <laughs> Do I have a choice since you're older and stronger and can beat us up easily? Holly, what are you doing here? I'm boarding in this dorm. You are? I am too, but I didn't see you yesterday. 
I was feeling lazy yesterday, and I stayed inside my room watching TV. It is upsetting that my roommate this year is not a cuddle material. Her hands are freezing. Her skin is rough, and she racks me on the head when I put my arms around her. I'm feeling a bad vibe from you. It really hurts. Me big, me dumb. Me Harley craft. I craft your spine into a spiral. She, she's so tall and she looks mature, but she sounds so childish. It's such a stark contrast. If I had known there was someone so as warm and soft as you in my dorm, I would have left to introduce myself immediately. Uh, is the huggable someone? Is how huggable someone is the only thing that matters to you? Hmm. What else is there? The person's personality, things you have in common with them. Hmm. I guess that's important too. Second and third place. I'm not going to even bother trying to understand how her brain works. Yeah. I'm not, okay, that's Maria speaking. I'm, I'm not even going to try to understand how her brain works. Her logic is clearly much different than mine. Do you even have logic, Maria? By the way, why were you in the underwear when you were taking a nap? I needed a pillow. The ground is rough and hurts my head. <laughs> my clothes don't make me... Uh, my clothes don't make the best pillow, but they're better than nothing. Couldn't you just take one of your pillows from your room with you? <laughs> I can do. I can do that, Maria. You're a genius. No, no, I'm not. I'm pretty sure that uh, has common sense. Yes, you are. I've been taking naps there for years because I like the warm air and peaceful sounds. But the thought of bringing a pillow never occurred to me. You're the, you're not only warm and cuddly, but you're smart too. Just Thanks. Oh, why were you in my arms? I don't remember going to sleep with you <laughs> on top of me. Now you're asking me this? That should have been the first thing you asked when you woke up. I was lost and I saw you laying down. When I tried to wake you up, you grabbed me and wouldn't let go. After a little while, I fell asleep too, and you know the rest. So that's what happened. It must have been fate that we met in such a special way. I wouldn't call it fate. Won't you please re reconsider being my blanket? We know each other now, don't we? Um... Please. She grabs my hand. Oh. Harassment! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Big chunk! Ogre girl's got me! She grabs me by the hands and look at me earnestly. She wants me to do something so weird. It was already strange enough at one time. I need to be firm and say no. Okay. That's the opposite of no! <laughs> Tongue! Why have you betrayed me? I couldn't help it when she looked at me like that. You're having a conversation with your tongue like that? No, no, it was his, That's, pe was it was his it? penis thinking, not his tongue. Yes! Thank you, Maria. I take a very good care of my blankets, so I make sure that you don't get dirty or scratched. Am I just an object to you? Hmm, aren't we all technically objects that can move? Huh? That is true, I guess, in a way. <sighs> I don't have conditions. I do have conditions, though. Nainan, I'd do anything to fill your warmth again. Oh, babe. Uh, that sounds creepy when you say it like that. It does? I'm not thinking anything creepy, though. <laughs> well, it was. Anyway, my conditions 
First, I can take a nap with you every day. I have things to do. Wait, first, I can't take naps with you every day. I have things to do and want to hang out with my f other friends too. Three days a week then? Two days. Does Monday and Thursday after school work for you? This feels an awful lot like a business proposal. You get paid for this? Any day does, so those are fine. The second and last condition is that I want you to go to class. Oh. Wh what? Oh, I heard that you skip classes and don't care whether you pass or fail. I want you to at least try to pass. If you fail a class, then I'll stop uh, being your blanket. Those terms are so hard. Those terms are so harsh. Damn, they're smart terms. But you're so warm and comfy. Ugh, I accept. Alright, no complaining about wanting more, okay? I won't, but what if you're busy and I can't make it for nap time? I'll text you and we can reschedule. Here's my number. Dumbass! And here's mine. Three more days until it's cuddle time again. I can't wait, Maria. In a way, I'm looking forward to it <laughs> a bit too. Did I like having my back rubbed? The only th thing that bothers me other than not being able to escape was that she was in her underwear. I don't have to worry about that anymore since she knows she can bring a pillow now. I bet she won't. Yeah. She's gonna forget. I'm going to eat dinner. Have you eaten already? Not yet. I'll come with you. Well. That's why I'm gonna leave it here for the episode because it's been 27 minutes. So I'm gonna have to make that into one video. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with your friends, share with your family, share with your enemies. Thank you, and see you in the next episode. Bye.